Good morning everyone. My name is Manish. I am in second degree black belt, international coach and player. Taekwondo is a Korean martial art found by General Choi Yong-hee in the year April 11, 1955. Meaning of Taekwondo. DAE stands for jumping or flying to kick or smash with the foot. KWON denotes chiefly to punch or destroy with the hand or the fist. Devo means an art or the wick. In Taekwondo, there are six color belts. They are white belt, yellow belt, green belt, blue belt, red belt and black belt. There are ten stages to reach black belt. They are white belt, yellow stripe, yellow belt, green stripe, green belt, blue stripe, blue belt, red stripe, red belt and black stripe. These are the 10 stages to reach black belt. Now, the meaning of white belt. White belt signifies the innocence of a beginner who has no previous knowledge of Taekwondo. Yellow belt meaning. Meaning of yellow belt. Yellow belt signifies the earth from which plants sprouts and takes it through as Taekwondo foundation is being laid. This is the meaning of yellow belt. Now, let's start the class with the bow. Before we start the class or finish the class, always we wish the teacher with the bow. I'll teach you how to bow. Okay. Okay. Close your feet, keep your leg in a V shape. Hands up. Close your fist on my three counts. One, two, and three. Bend your hands down. Your elbow should not touch your ribs. Keep it a bit close and away. Turn your palms a bit down. Take your hands a bit bent. Stand still. This is called Chiriyat. Chiriyat means in English it is called attention stance. In a Korean language it is called Chiriyat. When I say Kwingi, Kwingi means you need to bend a bit and say Taekwondo to your teacher and come up. This is how you show respect to your master teacher in Taekwondo. Stand straight Chiriyat. Kwingi, Taekwondo. Now before we continue with the class, we always take a pledge. It's called students both. Then we close your feet. Hands down, put your right hand up, make sure your shoulder to elbow, your hand is in a straight line and from your elbow to your fingertip in a straight line. It should be in a L shape and your thumb should be bent. All the fingers have to be closed, only the thumb has to be bent, other hand next to your thumb. Stand straight, now students will start. I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I shall respect the instructors and seniors. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall be the champion of freedom and justice. I shall build a more peaceful world. Put your hands down. There are five principles which Taekwondo students will follow. It's called five step, five tenets. Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control and indomitable spirit. Now, when I say Jumi, you need to take your left leg out and stand in a one shoulder distance width and keep your both the hands in front of your belt knot. Jumi. This stance is called Narani Jumi Sodi. Parallel ready stance in English. In Korean language, Narani Jumi Sodi. Narani means parallel, Jumi means ready, Sodi means stance. This is how you, you need to stand in Jumi. In a short form, we call to be very stance, stance with Chiriyat, sorry, to be, when I say Chiriyat, I can both the legs in, Chiriyat, to be, Chiriyat, to be, start with the head up and down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, change left and right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Change side bending. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now half neck position, only the front half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Come up. Hands and hip. Hip rotation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Reverse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keep your legs closed. Then side bend. Side bend and touch your heel, knee and come up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Wide your legs. Hands up. Your right hand should touch your right leg and your left hand should touch your left leg. Start with your right hand. Stay in the same position. Stay for 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Up. Side cheek. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Up. The same thing. Changes for 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good work. Now alternate toe touch. Your right hand should touch your left leg and your left hand should touch your right leg. Hands up. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Close your legs, keep your legs closed, one shoulder distance wide. In Taekwondo, we measure the distance by shoulder. One shoulder distance, you have to keep your feet, hands forward, we'll do 12, 10 squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, up, just three your legs. Next we'll do 10 push-ups. Do your hands down, keep your body straight and look forward. 10 push-ups on my counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Ten. Get up. Close your feet. Keep your legs nice straight. It's up. One, two, three. It's down. Straight. Pingy. Tight. One. We'll have a break for thirty seconds. Then we'll continue the class. Now we'll start with the block combination. Standing in the position. First, from the standing position, I will teach you the hand movement. How to turn your fist while doing a block. First, take your right hand out. Your left hand. Above your right hand, palm facing upwards. The hand which is up should go down, turning your wrist downwards, then the other hand towards your belt. This is called lower block. The same hand, take your hands up, palm facing down, the other hand, palm facing up. Now the same way you are going to do with the other hand. Do it on my couch with a single couch. One, two, three. Give a break when you block. One, two, three. 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 Now we'll do it in two counts. One, two. 
One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're doing a single count for ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten. Now we will do inner forearm lock. For to perform an inner forearm lock, your one hand will be palm facing down. The hand which will block should come from downwards. Both the palm will be facing down. The hand which is down, that will go forward with the wrist rotation like this. Then the other hand, you need to pull it back towards your belt for a backward motion that gives you a power for the block ready now i'll do it in three counts one two and three the same hand block one two and three one two and three one two three one two Three. Now we're doing two counts. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now we're doing a single count. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we will start with the outer forearm block. To perform the outer forearm block, keep your front one hand palm facing down, then the other hand upwards. The hand which is on top will go towards your friend with the palm facing forward and the other hand towards your belt. This is called outer forearm lock. Ready? Please. Start with the counts. In three counts we are going to start. One, two and three. One, two, 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 three. Now we'll perform in two counts. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now we'll start with a single count. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next one, we will start with the out to in inner forearm. You have to take your hand from out to in. Ready? We will do it in a single count. One, in the end moment, you need to turn your wrist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, next one we are going to do upper block. But your hand will go from down to up. The one hand will be facing down, the other hand facing up. The hand which is up should go upwards. This is called rising block. The, the blocking tool is your elbow, this part. One, two, three. Now the other hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, Three. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we'll do it in a two counts. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. You have to keep your hand above the head, not to your forehead level. A little bit up above your head. Now we're doing single count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next one, we are going to start with the X pressing block. Take your both hands up and keep your hands down in the X position. X. And the same way from down to the up. Now we will start with from up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten. Now we'll perform the same techniques in two two counts. This is called block combination. These are a few techniques of block combination. Now we'll start with the single count. We are going to start to me. First, we are going to do a lower block. First with the right hand, then left hand. Then we'll continue with the different blocks. But me, start with your left hand. One. Two. Two. Next is inner forearm block. Three. Four. Next is outer forearm block. Five. Six. Next out to it. Seven. Eight. Next rising block. Nine. Ten. Next expressing block. Eleven. 12, next 13 count, keep your right leg forward in a L stance guarding block. This is called L stance forearm guarding block. Your left hand will be in front of the solar flex and your right hand straight to your shoulder. Then 14th count, take your right leg back, cross your hand, your right hand will go above your head and your left hand in front of your shoulder. Twin guarding block. This is called twin guarding block. These are the 14 counts of block combination. Now we are going to do all the 14 counts together. We will start with the lower block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay. Me, in the block combination, the first and last count, you need to give a shout. In between all the counts, we just need to breathe. So now we'll start with the sitting stance. The same technique we'll follow in the sitting stance. First, you need to shift your left leg out and perform a sitting stance. Me, stand straight. First count and the last count. First count and the 14th count will be with the shove. So give a shove and do a lower block. Me, block combination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Make these are the fourteen counts of block combination. Just your legs. Chair. Knee. Taekwondo. 